Hey, what is up, Chili fans? This is Ben from the Firepod Spot, and welcome aboard for another pod review. Um, this time around, we'll be having a look at the Ebony Ember, which is this one here. Now, the Ebony part clearly doesn't come from the colour of the pods themselves. It's actually because the plants have a darker foliage on it, um, with almost black stems and uh, like a purple black with little bits of green in the in the leaves. So, um, quite attractive little plants. I might link you guys up with a picture, actually. Yeah as soon as I can get one to sort of show you guys. Um, quick rundown on it is that it seems to be taken from explosive embers, um, even though those are green foliage, and probably one of the Thai varieties, considering that this shape of the pod is, um, it's more of a Thai shape, like um, any of you have seen the Bantam Thimble, one would re would recognise that shape, you know, they, um, that's that short squat sort of shape. Um, the explosive embers are very, not very, very long, like, you know, like you know, cayenne long or anything, but they're much longer in shape, uh, more like a Serrano's or something like that. Um, they're, so this takes from a squat variety with black foliage crossed in with the explosive ember. Um, now, it's supposed to be both culinary and um, ornamental so we'll definitely be judging that with um, that consideration in mind and um, I guess that's about all the background info we need um, so first things first as the normal drill I'll cut this thing open take a little picture of the inside of it and um, we'll go from there all right so first thing I'll take the stem off which isn't too bad this time around um, it's um, it gives it a bit of resistance, but it's not too bad. Uh, just cutting that open. This one is a little tiny bit soft too because I kind of left it for a few days more than I should have, but that shouldn't hurt things too much. Just making sure I get that nice neat cut. Okay, so just take a little picky of the inside of that for you guys. And we'll cut away to that. Alright then, so. Pictures are taken. I might just do one more just to be sure. This thing's very red. And it, in this light, it's actually causing a few problems. Alright, that should do it. So, one thing I'll point out straight away, it's got some very nice, um, they're very large and very neatly organised seeds in that thing. Now what that means is that um, if you're cooking with it, that will be really easy just to, just to you know, run a knife up the inside of that and they'll all pull out because they seem to be in rows and they actually fall out quite easily too. Um, very desirable traits if you're looking at de-seeding and cooking with these things. And I noticed that this thing has a very thick wall on it too. Um, compared to the other ornamental varieties I've had so far, this one's um, it's very thick and very juicy. Actually, I will do that because I keep neglecting to do it. But there's um, there. See how there's a little bit of a a, a wet sheen on there. Um, I'll try and catch that better in the light. It may not show up so great on this camera, but there's just a tiny bit of a wet sheen on there. Now what that tells me is that um, it's both oil and and like watery juice in there, which means that this thing should um, should deliver its flavour quite well too. Just have okay. So it's got it's got a very bright capsicum -y sort of smell to it. Like it, it reminds me of uh, of a, a red bell pepper, but it's. Um, Smells like it could be actually kind of sweeter. I don't know. Maybe that's just the, the way it smells. But it does. It has a brighter, sweeter sort of smell than even bell peppers. So this could be quite a treat. All right. Without further delay, let's go. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Um, this thing's punchy. 
It's um, like flavor's really good, but I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. But wow, that's still building up. Um, I really, really did not expect that from this thing. It's actually um, it it lights you up pretty good. It's actually, I would dare say, hotter than some Thai chilies. Um, yeah, like the little bird's eyes and stuff. It's um, yeah, at its peak, it's just starting to get there now. I think. Um, but yeah, I was actually really amazed and surprised by that um, because most of all the mental ones and <clears throat> they're these part culinary, part yeah, part display ones. Um, they're usually um, usually on the milder side of things. You know, when they say oh they're hot, they're usually talking about jalapeno hot. No, this thing um, this thing has a you can feel it sort of spread across the top of your tongue. It's mostly on the top and the very tip of my tongue right now. Um, yeah, you feel it sort of spread across, and it, it's like. Well, it's like somebody lit you up a little bit. Um, like, for a chilli head like myself, that's not so bad. Um, it's pretty mild by my standards of what I can handle. But I wasn't expecting it. Um, and it's, um, it's a sharp burn on that thing, too. It's um, it's not super violent, but um, yeah, it could give you a bit of a nasty shock if you're not used to chilies and that. So, yeah, just um, be wary of that if you're not used to eating hot chilies. Um, all right, so flavors on that thing. Now that thing was it was really tasty actually. It um, it was like a, a brighter um, bell peppery sort of taste. Um, it smelt sweeter, but it didn't taste quite as sweet as some of the sweeter varieties of bell peppers. Although I will say that there are some varieties of bell peppers, such as some of the ones I found in um, in supermarkets. That um, yeah, they don't come near it, so it sort of sits in the middle of the the bell pepper sweetness, which is really good. Um, <clears throat> the flavour is um, it's very much like a, a capsicum flavour, but without the greenness to it. There's no um, it's hard to describe, but there's this very sort of vegetably green flavour that you get out of a lot of chilies and things like that. Um, it reminds you of fresh cut grass, that smell. Um, it doesn't have any of that at all in there. It does have just a tiny bit of, um, like almost like a, a fruitiness to it, but it's um, it's not like you're going to get off um, habaneros and things like that. Um, but it is um, it is very pleasant to to eat that thing. It's um, very nice chili, and um, yeah, with all the like as I mentioned earlier on, it had uh, quite a bit of oil content as well as water. And um, you definitely notice that, like when you eat the things, that it will spread and it will stick around for a bit. Um, not just the heat, but the flavour as well. Like that spreads and sticks. And I find that um, that's usually a good trait to have when you're cooking with them. Like if you're doing, say, a stir fry or something like that, it will spread and incorporate itself into everything quite well. Whereas the more watery ones aren't quite as good for that. Um, because most of the things that give chilies their flavours and their heat are all oil based rather than water based so yeah this thing's actually quite good um, very very nice little little chili um, so recommended uses for that thing um, definitely as I said before stir fries yeah um, that would go really nice um, that nice bright flavor that little bit of sweetness to it um, it would work rather well uh, for substituting for the way you would normally use bird's eyes or, or some people use the other Thai chilies for um, for stir fry. Yeah, sure, that would work rather well. Um, just bear in mind it is actually hotter than the um, than the Thai bird's eyes are. So, um, like not habanero hot. It's not that high, but it is a little bit hotter than than Thai bird's eyes. So, just um, if you don't mind hot and spicy food, yeah, sure, go go nuts. It'll be fine. Um, if you if yeah if you don't like it at all. You're gonna have a problem with it if you overdo it, so um, just go a bit easy. But then again, from experience, I've found that most people who don't like really hot and spicy food won't mess around with bird's eyes anyway. So um, it should be safe and it should be fine. Um, and um, again, it's oily. The, the flavour's going to spread, so you don't need a huge, huge amount. So you, yeah, definitely use it for things like that. Um, I would use that in um, salsas and stuff like that as well because that's got a nice bright sweetness to it. Um, it's quite pleasant and um, that by itself in, in a format like yeah, salsas tend to 
allow you to taste the chilli taste as well as everything else, um, if you do them right anyway. And um, this thing will go quite well. Um, I would say that if you want to make a, a hot salsa that's um, inspired by the ones that use red jalapenos for, for instance, this thing will go really nice with that. Um, it's, um, yeah, like I said, it, it, it's just that sort of flavour that it just it will pop quite nicely with a little bit of onion and stuff like that that you put in the salsas. Yeah, that'd be very nice. Um, in salads, maybe some salads, yeah. Yeah, it's um, it tastes pretty decent. And um, again, having a similar but not as green sort of taste as as um, you know, bell peppers or capsicums to some of you, um, it will... It will come up nicely in salads. It's just because of the heat of it, you just have to watch for what else is in the salad. Like um, if it's got a lot of subtle flavour and things like that, it might just overrun it a bit in that sort of format. So um, yeah, like a, like you can do it, but I, I wouldn't say it's its best use. So um, anyway, that's um, that's about all I could say on the. Um, on the Ebony Ember, um, you can find those things here in Australia. We're just starting to get them in places like our, our Buddings. Um, uh, yeah, it's like a hardware store with a nursery. Um, some standalone nurseries are stocking them as well. I have no idea about um, what the situation is overseas, so sorry guys. Um, I don't even know where these things were first engineered, so I can't even tell you that oh, well, it comes from this country. It would be easy to find here or something like that. So, um, I really can't help you guys there, but um, keep an eye out for it if you want a nice ornamental chilli um, that it looks attractive and tastes pretty decent. Alright, so um, that's the review done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, stay tuned, we should have some new stuff coming up fairly soon before the massive chaos hits. Um, yeah, I discussed all this in my Facebook group here about um, moving and whatnot. That will be happening, so there might be a bit of disruption to things. Not that it's not already disrupted at this time of the year anyway, so it shouldn't be the biggest drama. And um, I hope to see you guys around very soon. So until then, keep it spicy and have a good one.